potter's journal. We will be making some pottery on a potter's wheel today. But first, this is something that I've been thinking about for a long time. And I think, I think it can be done by just a normal person. Okay, we'll be back to check on this later, but let's make some syrup jugs in the pottery studio today. Okay, we are going to make some little pottery syrup jugs. This is one and one quarter pounds of clay. <laughs> but how could I talk about that? Did you see what I just did? I put taps okay or spiles as they're called into maple trees okay to get sap out of them in order to boil it down and make syrup um, I have a dozen plastic jugs that if I manage to fill them um, should boil down if I can do it to make about um, oh two pints of maple syrup and okay I started watching videos last fall um, I started watching videos in the fall and September endlessly um, and convincing me that it could be possible for just a normal person to do this so at the turn of the year um, I finally said okay if I'm gonna do this I better order the supplies and actually you could spend a ton of money doing this but um, thought that just you know to do a small amount um, one person um, all you really need is the taps I already have a kitchen stove so um, the kit actually included um, 10 taps um, I put four of them in the trees. We'll see what happens. And um, it did include a filter. And I thought, yeah, it was a good idea. It had a small book um, pamphlet included with it. So I didn't spend much money. Now, I'm not sure still about the end of the process. The boiling is the tricky, just like firing a kiln um, and putting it in reduction. So you should have uh, more equipment for that, but we'll get into that later if I get that far. <laughs> okay, and yeah, we had the shape here like a cylinder, a mug. I'll start to give that a little more shape. Okay, and I am going to put very simple. not a tap or a spy or a very simple spout on these and maybe some with handles. Okay, 
and then we'll start to bring that in. So I'm not even sure that I like maple syrup. Um, the stuff you get in the store, okay, look at it. It doesn't say maple syrup, it says pancake syrup on it. Um, it has no maple syrup in it. It's, I guess, mostly that um, high fructose corn syrup stuff with coloring in it and um, I forget where they said the maple flavor comes from. tricky part here. Um, bringing this in, not let, letting the upper part of the jug push out. And as you bring that in, it gets thinner, so or thicker. So we will thin that out a bit. very sharp rib to um, prune off the bottom. And I am okay. It might take me about um, four or five videos to bring this project through to an end. I will make some spouts and lug handles um, for these things and I will also dip them in slip and maybe put on some appropriate um, scraffito for a maple syrup jug. <laughs> How about that? Drip? Drip, drip. Okay, each one is a little bit different. Okay, the second one you saw me make, they're usually the worst. Um, they are supposed to be a little bit different, right? We don't want them to be all the same. Um, I have tried to put broad shoulders on them because I'm going to put spouts or handles, lugs, for a wire handle on some, spouts on others. Um, maybe we can get a spout on one real quick today, but we'll go in detail next video on that. First, I'm going to go outside and see what we've collected, if anything, yet. Okay, spouts and spiles. I just had to show you how I get the spouts on these things. Um, this is the spile. Um, I only used part of them. And then the tube was also part of the kit. Um, okay, I just gave this a little score. And we are going to put okay a little bit of slip on there. Um, I rolled out. Just a little ball of clay. This is the simplest spout that a beginner should be able to put on a small little jug or something needing a spout. Um, I actually saw this. Um, okay, so put on there, pound it in a little bit, and then just rounded with the finger and the thumb, pushing it in. Um, I saw a picture of this researching old pottery syrup jugs. So not only is this a nice beginner spout for whatever you might want to put a spout on, um, this was on a real historic style jug. 
Um, so I, I had to fit in this this into this video since this is all about spouts and spiles and then just spinning it round um, the way you would center a piece of clay on a potter's wheel rounds it out beautifully so now when I okay was drilling the hole in the tree what did you think I was gonna do um, did you hear the tree scream um, okay it's all about the time of year with the three freeze saw cycles that makes um, the sap flow and come out um, okay and then I give it a little push in because we will want to come back with one of these hole punchers um, I guess it could be done with a drill if you don't have one of these and I do have a smaller one that will fit there but um, okay you know what I want to do now <laughs> I want to go out and check the taps again It's the next morning. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's already almost a half a gallon in here. And hopefully, if I can fill up about a dozen of these, I should get about four pints if I can boil it down. There's a little bit of ice in here. and it's a little bit sweet apparently you can put it in your tea um, just a, a light sweetener like you would do with tea okay stop back and see if we can make this happen